welcome to Lesson 4 in Individual Flight Foundations. In the previous lesson, we discussed the key characteristics of the Intelligent Flight Control System's coupled mode. This week, we focus on decoupled mode. Let's begin by discussing their key differences. In coupled mode, the degree of input deflection sets the speed. However, in decoupled mode, the degree of input deflection sets the thrust. In coupled mode, the direction of input deflection sets the desired direction of flight, whereas in decoupled, it fires the desired thruster. Letting go of inputs in coupled mode causes thrusters to fire, which will stop the ship. In decoupled mode, letting go of inputs will result in no more thrust produced, but momentum will be preserved. In changing direction of input deflection, in coupled mode, this will set a new desired direction of flight, and momentum in the previous direction will be cancelled. In contrast, in decoupled mode, changing the direction of input deflection will fire different thrusters. Momentum in the previous direction, however, will be preserved unless manually cancelled. Let's illustrate these differences with some examples. What will happen if I push and hold my forward pedal down about halfway? In coupled mode, I'll reach half maximum speed using maximum thrust. In decoupled mode, Pushing my forward pedal halfway will make me reach maximum speed using half maximum thrust. This is apparent by looking at the G-meter. What will happen if I let go of my inputs? In coupled mode, if I let go of my inputs, IFCS will detect that I no longer want to go in any direction and will fire thrusters to stop me. In decoupled mode, letting go of my inputs will stop my acceleration, but my existing velocity will be preserved. What will happen if I let go of the forward pedal and deflect my left stick all the way to the left? In coupled mode, I will strafe left at maximum acceleration. My forward speed will begin to be cancelled out by my retro burners activating until all my speed is directed leftward. In decoupled mode, I will strafe left at maximum acceleration but preserve my forward speed. Here's a diagram depicting the same thing we just discussed. So. In coupled mode, starting at rest, we push down the forward pedal. We begin to accelerate in the forward direction, as is depicted by this blue acceleration arrow. We continue to push down the forward pedal and we begin accumulating a forward directed velocity. Now, when we let go of the forward pedal and simultaneously deflect our left stick to the left, indicating that we would like to strafe leftwards, IFCS will begin decelerating us in the forward direction, aka accelerating us backwards to cancel out our previous direction's momentum, and at the same time we'll begin applying a leftward acceleration by firing the thrusters on the right side of our ship. The combination of leftward and backward acceleration will be depicted by this summary vector. Now after some time, you could see that our velocity in the forward direction has decreased and our velocity in the leftward direction has increased. And this arrow continues to be pointed this way because we're still firing our retro burners to cancel out our previous direction's momentum. And finally, we reach a state where once we no longer have any forward motion, IFCS will only fire the thrusters on the right side of the ship to continue accelerating us in the leftward direction and increasing our left strafe velocity. Now contrast that to decoupled mode. In decoupled mode, we begin the same way. We push down our forward pedal, which tells our main thrusters to fire. After some time, continuing to push down the forward pedal, we are increasing our forward velocity and continuing to accelerate forward. Now the moment that we let go of the forward pedal and apply left strafe, you can see that this acceleration vector compared to the one here is directed purely leftwards. Now why is that? Well because in decoupled mode, IFCS will not automatically cancel our motion in the previous direction. We will preserve our forward motion while increasing our leftward motion. So then, after some time, we still have the same amount of forward velocity, but we're also attaining increased leftward velocity. And in the final state, um, 
you can see that our final velocity will be a combination of our forward and our leftward velocities. And in this case, you know, we're continuing to accelerate because we assume that we didn't let go of the left strafe input. Now, from this depiction, we can kind of see why coupled mode is so much more intuitive for many people. When you deflect your stick to the left, you're saying, I want to strafe left and that's all I want to do. I don't want to go forward anymore, I just want to go left. That's why I let go of my forward pedal. In decoupled mode, you're saying, I want some leftward translation in addition to whatever my translation currently is. What happens if we execute a turn? Okay, so here we are in coupled mode. Let's accelerate to about SCM speed, then turn left approximately 90 degrees, and then continue flooring the forward pedal until we reach maximum. So we see our course indicator rapidly move to our what is now our now forward direction because our right-sided thrusters automatically fired to stop our motion in the previous direction. In contrast, in decoupled mode, we'll achieve a course change more slowly, but attain maximum speed more quickly. So here's a diagram depicting what we saw just now. So in coupled mode, we push down the forward pedal and we begin accelerating in the forward direction. We continue pushing it down, we continue to accelerate in the forward direction. Now when we start turning leftward, something interesting happens. So rather than our acceleration being directed straight ahead towards our nose, it's actually offset uh, to the left. And why is that? Well, it's because the goal of coupled mode is to give you the most motion in your uh, desired direction of flight while canceling motion in whatever our other previous direction of flight was. So since we were originally moving in this direction, uh, IFCS has to cancel out our velocity in our old forward direction while giving us uh, acceleration and additional velocity in uh, what is our new forward direction. And we're saying that we want to keep going forward because we keep pushing down the forward pedal. So as a result, IFCS fires the thrusters on the right side of the ship to give us some deceleration in this direction. And it also begins to fire our main thrusters as well as our right-sided thrusters to begin moving us in our new forward direction more effectively. So then uh, we complete the turn. So we're still telling IFCS that we want to go forward. It continues to fire the thrusters on the right side of our ship to slow us down in our old forward direction while firing our main thrusters to uh, speed us up in our new forward direction. As a result, our net acceleration is directed to the left of, slightly to the left of our new forward direction. And finally, uh, our right-sided thrusters did their job. They canceled out all our motion in the rightward direction. And uh, now only our main thrusters have to fire to keep accelerating us in our new forward direction. Now this is kind of complicated. Um, so with things like this, it actually seems a little bit more intuitive what happens in decoupled mode. Now in decoupled mode, it's pretty straightforward. When we're pushing down on our forward pedal, we're not telling IFCS, I want to go forward. We're telling IFCS, fire my main thrusters. So we push down the forward pedal initially and we begin accelerating forward. We continue to push it down and we've built this velocity in the forward direction. So as we begin to turn leftwards, our main engines are still the only ones that are firing and we continue to accelerate in this direction as well as begin to accelerate in this direction. Uh, and as we continue to push down the forward pedal, it's still only our main engines that are firing. But now we are only accelerating in this direction. Um, and no longer accelerating in this direction, but we didn't decelerate. We are still maintaining our original momentum in the old forward direction, what is now considered the rightward direction. And as we continue to push down the forward pedal, we continue to accumulate velocity in our new forward direction, but we still have preserved the old forward direction's velocity. One caveat to decoupled mode is that it only decouples translation. 
rotation is still coupled, and zero rotation is still calibrated with reference to the stable astronomical surroundings. When is decoupled useful? The utility of decoupled mode comes from it eliminating the tendency for the IFCS to bring you to zero speed. What if you're trying to fly parallel to or orbit an object that is moving 300 meters per second? Coupled mode will work against you in this scenario. Decoupling can make it easier to match your motion to another ship that is accelerating slowly or not at all, but in motion. What are some of the implications in terms of how you should control your ship in decoupled mode? Well, you'll always have to deflect every control to the max to get the same maneuverability that coupled mode automatically gives you. The fire thrusters at max, your controls need to be deflected to the max. If I'm trying to strafe in a sine wave, for example, I can make small up and down deflections of my left stick and still achieve maximum up and down acceleration. However, to achieve this in decoupled mode, I must deflect my left stick all the way up and down to get maximum acceleration. Check your understanding. Your ship is in decoupled mode and at rest. You deflect your strafe stick 50% of the way to the left. Which of the following will occur? The answer is A. Your ship is in decoupled mode. You push your forward pedal down for 2 seconds until you reach 100 meters per second. You then let go of the pedal, turn left 90 degrees, and push your forward pedal down for another 2 seconds. What will be your final velocity? The answer is B. Your ship is in decoupled mode. You push the forward pedal down for 2 seconds and then let go. You turn your ship 90 degrees to the left. Which input will you have to apply to stop the ship? The answer is C. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for a friendly PvP community where skilled pilots offer training opportunities, join the Lycosars PvP Academy Discord link below. If you're interested in the controllers I use and what my curve settings are, please check the description. See you in the next one, pilots. Like a saw out.